today's we will see around 500 passengers start to get off the cruise and back home and the majority of the passengers today getting off the cruise are Japanese so according to the Ministry of Health of Japan they're saying that the passengers that can disembark today with their NAT test which is the, a nucleic acid test shows a negative and they are allowed to go back home so you can see this the and the official says actually they not really require all the quarantine the passengers to take the governmental deployed card so you can see we have the yellow buses waiting there and that yellow bus is like a shuttle bus so basically bring the passengers from the cruise from the Yokohama port to the stations so it's a train station so the a JR stations and then the passengers can take public transportations to go by home or you can see at this parking lot the passengers also allowed to take their private cars to go back home so the diamond print has been quarantined in Yokohama since February the 3rd after a man who disembarked in Hong Kong before he traveled to Japan was diagnosed with the virus more than 540 people have been infected with the virus on the liner which originally carried some 3,700 passengers and crew members. Many of those infected have been transferred to hospitals. About half of the passengers are Japanese. And last week on the February 14th, the officials started to let the elderly people off the cruise and because the elderly people, a lot of them will see underlying diseases, so it's not that comfortable for them to stay at the cruise. So the government arranged the hospitals or the accommodations for the elderly people at the city of uh, Saitama or the Hikari city, so that's the nearby cities. So the elderly people started to get off the cruise on February 14th but still the others required to stay inside the cruise for the uh, medical quarantine and the disembarkment actually started from today and the whole process will be and ex to be expected on Friday so basically all the passengers and the cruise members on board will be all of the cruise on Friday. And also NHK confirmed the news that around 500 people were expected to de disembark on Wednesday with the entire process to be completed by Friday. So right now Japan actually with the largest confirmed cases outside China. So look at today's number is total of 616 confirmed cases in Japan, among which 542 confirmed cases on Diamond Princess and with infection rate 14.6%. And we talk about the, actually a lot of the uh, people from different countries aboard on the cruise. So the United States evacuated more than 300 nationals on this Monday on two chartered flights and six South Koreans and one Japanese spouse flew to ROK on Wednesday on a chartered flight. And Australian Prime Minister also said on Tuesday that there were 220 Australians on board. And a total of 169 Australians will be evacuated. And 36 have been diagnosed with coronavirus will remain on the ship. And another 15 have elected to stay on board. So those evacuated will back to Australia and also 
to be quarantined for another 14 days. And for those the Australian passengers, so they will first go through a pre-screened process on Wednesday morning, which is today local time, and uh, will be taken to the Tokyo's Haneda Airport in the evening for an expected departure earlier tomorrow. And also according to the captain's announcement on the liner, the Hong Kong passengers would also be evacuated over the next 24 hours. So Hong Kong, according to yesterday Carrie Lam's press conference, Hong Kong also sent a charter flight to pick up the Hong Kong passengers back to Hong Kong. And also according to the information by Reuters, a Canadian charter flight will also arrive on Friday morning and pick up the Canadians back home. So you will see today, starting from today, uh, for passengers off the cruise, of course, with their NAT test shows negative, and they are allowed to leave. Uh, also, the passengers also willing to leave. That's also based on their willingness as well. So we can see today we will have around 500 people to be expected to disembark. And the whole process will be finished on Friday. So we talk about in the latest two days, the newly confirmed case on the cruise also shows that the some of the cases actually is the asymptomatic carriers, which means they not really show the really obvious symptoms of COVID-19, such as fever or dry coughing, chest distress. And we look at the requirement from Hong Kong, as well as I just introduced Australia, all shows that the passengers that are allowed to be bored on the flight back home also need to take another 14 days for quarantine. So same for the United States. So they on the 17th, they pick up 300 U.S. citizens of the cruise. And those passengers actually will stay at two American Air Force bases for another 14 days for quarantine. And according to the uh, Japanese media, around 40, 40 American citizens on board on the cruise actually confirmed contracted COVID-19. And these 40 U.S. citizens will stay in Japan for treatment. And talking about why we suddenly show all these members numbers of confirmed cases increase so fast every day because every day we see at least double digit numbers grows for the confirmed cases on the cruise. So according to a interview made by the a US epidemiologist, it says because the crew is still a enclosure environment and also the cabin actually stays so close when behind another. So it's actually a environment quite easily to spread the disease, especially for the disease that can cause respiratory tract infection. 
So we talk about many of the cabins actually is the enclosed environment, so it's not really good for the air ventilation. And also within the cruise, actually they use the a central air condition. So they have the a two ventilation system, one for the internal ventilation, one for the up external external ventilation so they don't know yet whether the dime on the press is actually switch on that external ventilation there is no information confirmed that so the chief of the a Japanese Ministry of Health also acknowledged that they believe it is because the a closed environment triggered a new round of infection so they are seeing that for the new round of the a spreading of virus actually was not because of that hong kong passengers in the, that's the a originally believed that's because of the a hong kong passenger that was age 80 contracted COVID-19 and spread the virus to others. Um, the officials believe it's not really only because of that single case and more because that people stay inside of this kind of the environment, this really enclosed environment that actually create the environment for the infection. And also because people stay in these kind of situations, this kind of environment, and also have that direct contact, and also for many times. So that's also another reason for this high number of inv infection. And the same for the Harvard University's immune knowledge Professor Eric and Eric told to CNN that he confirmed that because the cruise is actually a closed off environment, which is the ideal environment for spreading the virus. So that is why we can see because of the cruise environment is not really suitable for quarantine. So that is why the Japanese government started to disembark the passengers on board to let them go home. And also for the ACE passengers from other countries, we, so far we know the uh, United States, Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, ROK, O send their charter flight, or will send their charter flight to pick up their uh, citizens. And of course, all of these citizens will arrive in their destinations and for another 14 days of quarantine. And the situation right now is the 18, 80 years old Hong Kong passengers actually not just on the cruise for the whole trip. He also traveled to the different cities in Japan. He traveled to Kagoshima and also to the other cities like Osaka. So right now we also need to monitor the places or these cities that the Hong Kong passengers or the confirmed the Hong Kong case traveled were not really triggered a new round of the infections locally in Japan. And we know Japanese government also initiate it's the a response system and they touch a great importance on how to curb the spread of the virus. And also we know yesterday from the media coverage that the one reporters actually had a close contact with the taxi driver and that taxi driver confirmed as a COVID-19 carrier. And that reporter actually had an interview with the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. So we don't know whether how this story developed. 
but that's just a news coming in yesterday. So you are looking at this is the live picture coming to you from Yokohama port. Starting from today, the passengers on the cruise with negative result on their nucleic acid test are allowed to go back home. So they are allowed to take their personal vehicles or they also can take that yellow buses as a shuttle bus provided by the government. So that yellow bus will transport them from the port to the train station. So we look at the uh, passengers of the cruise who actually are allowed to use their personal vehicles or take a public transportation. The confirmed cases have already uh, delivered or transported to the nearby hospitals for further treatment. And as of yesterday, we also had a newly confirmed cases, 88. And out of that 88, 65 newly confirmed cases actually with no symptoms shown. So, so far, the a government has checked 2,404 passengers and cruise members and 542 confirmed contracted COVID-19. So far, the epidemiologists and also the immunology Professors all believe that it's not only because of the a single confirmed cases from Hong Kong that caused the a spreading, it's more because of the whole environment on the cruise because the cabins are so close to each other and also people within this close off environment has quite frequent contact. So that also caused the a spreading of the virus because we know the a COVID nineteen actually right now have the a three transmission routes of transmission through the a contact and also through the aerosol and also we talk about the a droplet. So the a uh, experts believe the a uh, cruise environment actually provide the perfect environment for virus to spread. That is why you can see the number of confirmed cases every day quite increase rapidly. That is one of the big reason behind.
So you, right now you are looking at this is the live footage coming to you by CGTN New Media from Yokohama Port. And starting from today, the passengers on the cruise Diamond Prince will start to be disembarked and go back home. Of course, they already went through, gone through the a process of the NAT, which is nucleic acid test, and their result must be negative. And we have around 500 passengers will off the cruise and go back home. And the majority of the passengers leaving today are Japanese. And according to the Chinese Foreign Ministry, saying that China will provide support and assistance to Japan where more infection cases of the novel coronavirus occur. Because we know Jap Jap Japan right now has quite a high number of confirmed cases outside China. So we look at today the a confirmed cases in China besides Hubei also a single digit. So which is a very good news means that the right now the prevention and control of the virus in China uh, the aim have seen a quite a good progress and also China would like to bring its experience and um, the good learnings to share with Japan.
So to all the viewers right now you're looking at, this is live footage coming to you from Yokohama port. And we're looking at, this is the yellow shuttle buses provided by the Yokohama city government. And this bus will transfer the passengers of the cruise to the public transportation. And we talk about actually in Japan right now, people start to touch great importance to the uh, COVID-19 because according to the Ministry of Health right now, they not really know exactly the route of transmission in Japan because we have seen the cases of second generation or third generation spreading or the uh, confirmed cases. So Japan right now, also draw everyone's attention to the COVID-19. And we will also see today, starting from today, the process will actually last for three days. So it's today and will be end on Friday. The cruise members will be the last ones leaving the cruise. The Hong Kong ICR sent a special working force arrived in Japan and they will also prepare the Hong Kong residents off the cruise and back to Hong Kong. And according to the a news coverage, there were also five citizens from Macau ICR as well will also board on the charter flight discharged by Hong Kong government. And that flight originally planned to leave the early morning on the February 20s, but we don't know exactly the time because that will depend on the a progress today of the people in disembarking the cruise and also the airport arrangement. But Hong Kong will see a sent two charter flights to pick up the Hong Kong residents as well as five Macau residents back to Hong Kong. And they will also be in quarantine for another 14 days after they arrive in Hong Kong. So according to the newest number, the total of 616 confirmed cases right now in Japan, 542 confirmed cases on Diamond Princess. Infection rate is 14.6%.
So this Prince, Diamond Prince Cruise, was parked at the a port of Yokohama, Japan, for at least two weeks, with 3,700 passengers on board, and also has become the host to the largest cluster of the COVID-19 virus outside China. And we also know that last week, one of the officials, the quarantine officials, also diagnosed as the confirmed patient with COVID-19. To so all the viewers, if just tuning in with CGTN New Media, this is a live picture coming to you by CGTN New Media. This is the Yokohama port. And today the passengers start to disembark from the various hit Diamond Prince cruise after spending two weeks in quarantine of Yokohama near Tokyo. And we expect today we have around 500 passengers will be off the cruise and the whole process will be completed by Friday. And also the a charter flight sent by Australia, Hong Kong and Canada will start to pick their citizens from Japan to their countries. And after they arrived, they also need to be stay for another 14 days for quarantine. The flight from Canada will expect us to arrive on Friday morning and two charter flights sent by the Hong Kong ICR government we expect to pick up the Hong Kong citizens as well as five Macau citizens later today or early tomorrow morning. And we have known that the United States has already evacuated more than 300 nation nationals on Monday on their two chartered flights. And all these nationals right now stay in quarantine 
at two military bases. And 40 American citizens ran out in the hospitals in Japan because they are the confirmed cases. So they ran out in Japan for treatment. Once again, you are looking at the a uh, yellow white buses. They are the shuttle buses to transport the uh, passengers of the cruise to the public transportation station. So the passengers of the cruise, of course, their the nucleic acid test shows negative, and they are allowed to take public transportation. So right now we look at this is the live picture coming to you from Yokohama port. We know right now the number in Japan, the total of confirmed cases is 616, among which 542 the cases, confirmed cases on Diamond Princess with infection rates 14.6%. Right now Japan still don't know the route of transmission in Japan because we have seen the cases of second generation infection or third generation infection. So right now the a Japanese government is do everything to first find out the route of transmission. So also look at right now in the city, you know, people start to ha line up to buy masks and disinfection disinfectant. So the a uh, Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe also said that they will try everything to curb the spread of the virus and make sure there's no big outbreak happen in Japan. And Tokyo Olympic organizers are stressed on Thursday, saying that the games will never be cancelled or postponed because of the coronavirus outbreak. So starting from today, we will see the passengers on the cruise will start to leave and back home. So talking about it today, and that 500 passengers expected to off the cruise, majority of them are Japanese. And for the confirmed cases, all the patients have already been transported to the hospitals for treatment. And for elderly people with underlying diseases or chronic diseases, they have allowed to off the cruise last week. That's around February 14th. So they was arranged to the hospitals or the accommodation in the Saitama city or the Hikari city. So according to the a news came in yesterday, the a one taxi driver actually confirmed as contracted COVID nineteen. A taxi driver last week actually was helped to provide service to a group of journalists from Kyoto News Agency. 
and right now that 10 journalists from Kyoto News Agency also right now under medical observation. Uh, we know Kyoto News Agency is one of the largest news service agency in Japan and one of the journalists actually is in charge of taking the interview with the prime minister so we don't know right exactly right now what's the situation going on but right now all the 10 journalists are in quarantine So that tax drivers actually also himself didn't know how exactly he infected. That is also why right now Japan seeing that COVID-19 in Japan actually is have a unknown route of transmission. So right now the Ministry of Health spent all their efforts to first figure out how the virus spread in Japan. And we talk about today, we expect to have around 500 people off the cruise. A majority are the Japanese citizens and also with the senior age. And we talk about on the cruise, actually, there are around 1,000 passengers which age above 70 years old. And they, some of them actually taking the medicines for the underlying disease or chronic disease and they've run out of the medicines. So we also see the a Japanese media had a coverage that the elderly passengers actually hang on a flag of Japan and saying that lack of medicine. So that is also why the Japanese government plan that starting from today, they will evacuate the passengers on board from today until Friday. And talk about today, the February 19th, that is also the last day of passengers on the Diamond Prince cruise, finishing their 14 days quarantine. So yesterday, according to the head of the Ministry of Health, saying that as long as the a passengers on board on the cruise shows negative on their COVID-19 test, they are allowed to be off the cruise from 19. You look at all these buses here, especially the yellow ones, the yellow buses as the shuttle bus, that will bring the passengers from the port to the a city transportation hub. So the passengers are allowed to take public transportation back home.
According to the Japanese government, the whole plan is to expect all the passengers of the cruise on February 21st, which is Friday. And if the passengers and the cruise members, their test shows positive, then they will be immediately sent to the hospitals for treatment. And the cruise members will be the last ones of the cruise. And also, if the a passenger's test shows negative, but they stay in the same room with the confirmed patients, then the, the patients with negative results also need to stay for a longer time for further observation. So they may also delay their time to off the cruise. We talk about the Adelman Price cruise have been stay at the Yokohama port for at least two weeks. Because at the end of January, a Hong Kong passenger on the cruise was confirmed as COVID-19 carrier. And the whole cruise actually is embarked and stopped at the Yokohama port. start for quarantine and also the Japanese government require from the uh, February the 5th to conduct the a uh, quarantine and also to conduct the a uh, health check so starting from February the 5th till today that's the whole 14 days of quarantine period So talk about the local citizens, the Japanese citizens, and also the other passengers, if they not want to leave the country, they're also allowed to leave the cruise and start their normal life in Japan without further quarantine. Of course, their first the a test should be negative. And so far, they have conducted tests on 3,700 passengers and the cruise members on the cruise. And as of yesterday, February the 18th, 542 people are, were confirmed as the patients with COVID-19. And we talk about the a uh, U.S. nationalities on the cruise. Hundreds of people evacuated from the a uh, quarantine the cruise ship down on the Princess in Japan, arrive in the U.S. on two chartered flights, late Sunday or early Monday this week. The plans landed at the uh, Air Force Base in North Northern California, and also another Air Force Base in Texas. So right now, all the passengers are under another round of quarantine. So the quarantine will last for 14 days. So the uh, passengers, according to the U.S. State Department, were offered evacuation due to the high risk of virus on the cruise. So a total of 340 U.S. passengers were transported from the cruise ship to Haneda Airport in Tokyo. And some U.S. citizens are actually not willing to leave, so they choose to stay on the ship to avoid another quarantine or the chance they might catch COVID-19 from other evacuees. Hmm. 
So on Monday this week, Japan said that there were an additional 99 coronavirus cases diagnosed on the ship, bringing the total number of infected to 454. So among this number, about one in eight of the original passengers and a crew on board. So right now the number, so we said we have around 542 confirmed cases. So on Monday, the number was 454. And on Wednesday, the number jumped to 542. So of the newly evacuated U.S. citizens, 14 tested positive for the COVID-19, but are still allowed on the flight to the United States because they did not show symptoms. And the similar evacuation flights are also planned to return other passengers to Australia, Canada, Italy, and Hong Kong, ICR. And according to the Diamond Princess official website, they're saying that February 19 is the end of quarantine and the start to disembark process. And the A Prince cruise also received a confirmation letter from the embassies of Canada, Australia, and Hong Kong ICR. Right now, these three countries are coordinating the collection and transporting of their respective citizens via charter flights today. So based on information provided by the embassies directly to their citizens, they will also need to stay for an additional 14 days of quarantine upon arrival in their country of origin. And also according to the Japanese Ministry of Health, the disembark process for those individuals who are not taking governmental charter flights will start today. And the whole process will be undertaken over several consecutive days. Since the passengers of the cruise will be tested and the testing and results require two to three days to complete and a certificate that indicates a negative COVID-19 test results is expected to be granted by Japanese health authorities to the passengers so they can access the ship.
The Prince Cruise President right now is in Japan with other members of the team supporting the response operation and preparing for this disembarkation of the guests. Working in accordance accordingly with the a Japanese Ministry of Health, the Prince Cruise will be monitoring the whole process of guests who have contracted COVID-19 and will also offer the travel assistance to these individuals upon their recovery. And for the patients with COVID-19, once been identified, the crews will also help to deliver them to the designated hospitals signed by Japanese health authorities. And because of these extraordinary circumstances on board, the company, the Diamond Princess, is refunding the full cruise fares for all guests, including air travel, hotel, ground transportation, prepaid short fees, and other items. And in addition, the guests are not being charged for any onboard incidental charges during the additional time on board. And the Prince Cruise will also provide guests with a future cruise credit equal to the cruise fare paid for this voyage. So the Prince Cruise is confirmed that a guest from Hong Kong who traveled for five days on Diamond Princess from Yokohama, Tokyo on January 20th and disembarked in Hong Kong on January 25th tested positive for coronavirus on February the 1st, six days after leaving the ship. And he was not seen in the ship medical center for any reported illness during the voyage. And the Hong Kong passengers are currently admitted to a local hospital and reported to be in a stable condition. And that is why on February the 1st, the Diamond Princess decided to stay at the Yokohama, Yokohama port for a 14 days quarantine. So originally, the Diamond Princess is on a 14 day round trip at depart the departed from Yokohama, Tokyo on January 20 and scheduled to return on February 4th. There are 2,666 guests and 1,045 crews on board.
and on the February the 4th, the Diamond Cruise decided to cancel the whole trip, the whole voyage. And started from the February 5th, they had that 14 days of quarantine. And today is the end of quarantine. And you can see they also allowed the eight passengers with negative testing results to leave the cruise and back home. We talk about that among 2,666 guests on the cruise, half of them are Japanese. And today we We'll see around 500 passengers of the cruise, and the majority are the Japanese citizens and also with senior age. So to all the viewers, right now you are watching like this is a live picture coming to you from Yokohama port. And starting from today, with a three consecutive days, we will see the guests on the cruise. This is the Princess Diamond Princess Cruise will off the cruise, off the ship at the back home. And for the a passengers from other countries, the Hong Kong, ICR, Canada, and also Australia will send their chartered flights to Japan and will pick up their passengers back home. And talking about right now, the total number of confirmed cases in Japan is 616, among which 542 confirmed cases on the Diamond Princess. So we talk about the uh, Japan, right now the Japanese government is touching great importance to find out exactly the roots of transformation. And yesterday, according to the Chinese Foreign Ministry, China is also willing to help Japan to bring the experience in China to Japan to help Japanese government to fight against COVID-19.
And also, we received good news. Is Tokyo Olympic organizers stressed on the a Thursday last week, saying that the Olympic Games will never be cancelled or postponed because of the COVID nineteen outbreak, and with only one hundred. 50 more days to go until the opening ceremony. Concerns have been raised about Japan's hosting the games with the virus spreading throughout Asia. So the officials of the organizing committee said that there are many irresponsible rumors going in the air. So the uh, Japanese the organizing committee also had a press conference to make it clear that the Olympic Games will never be cancelled or postponed. And they will also work with the government and react calmly. So we talk about because of the a uh, COVID nineteen, the some of the international sports events in Asia including Olympic qualification competitions, Formula Ones, Shanghai Grand Prix, and the Hong Kong Sevens, all postponed or rescheduled. But the officials had a press conference confirm that the Tokyo Olympic Games will scheduled as planned. So talking about why the numbers of confirmed cases increased rapidly on board that because the according to the epidemiologists saying that because the cruise environment is a closed off environment so that have not really good ventilation and the carbons of passengers stay so close one after another one behind another so that's actually create a perfect environment for spreading the virus. And the Japanese government, the Ministry of Health, also confirmed yesterday that today is the last day of 14 day quarantine on the ship. So the passengers on the on board, as long as their testing results negative, they are allowed off the cruise and start their normal life. So you can see today we will see more and more passengers off the ship and take public transportation back home. But that's for the uh, passengers in Japan or the other nationalities and not waiting to leave Japan. They are allowed to off the cruise and start their normal life in Japan. But we talk about the uh, passengers from other countries. They will on board on the chartered flights sent by their government. And they will also will stay in another 14 day quarantine once they arrive to their home, home country. So you are looking at this is the live picture at Yokohama port. The yellow buses are the shuttle bus in charge of bringing the passengers from the cruise from the port uh, to the a uh, transportation hub in Yokohama. 
and the passengers are allowed to take public transportation to go back home or they can take their personal vehicles to pick them up at the cruise at the port and send them home So we talk about that 14 days quarantine that started from February the 5th. And today is the last day of the onboard 14 days quarantine. But talking about the close contacts with confirmed patients or the suspected patients, they stayed in the quarantine. Actually, their the own cabin for 14 days. They are not allowed to go to any public areas on the cruise. And for today, that 500 patients, and they also finished their self-quarantine on the cruise, and also their nucleic acid test is positive. The a nucleic acid test is negative, and also they have no the a clinical manifestation so they are allowed to leave.
So we also can see some medical staffs wearing the protective suits, goggles. And talking about today, we will see around 500 passengers of the cruise. A majority of them are Japanese and also with a senior age. We talk about there are around 1,000 passengers aged above 70s on the cruise. So the most difficulty they were facing during the quarantine time is the in medicines they are taking every day to cure their underlying or chronic disease, you know, it's out of stock. So basically, they need to replenish their medicines. So that is also why we can see today we first give the priority to the senior people so they can go back home to start continue the taking their medicines. The yellow buses here are sent by the Yokohama local government, the city of transportation, and basically uh, send the passengers to the transportation hub in the city so they can take public transportation back home. But we still see a lot of the passengers choose to take taxis or their personal vehicles to go back home. Um, we know the city of Yokohama actually very close to Tokyo and also with a quite large density of population. And Yokohama port is also one of the busiest port in Japan. Started from the February 3rd, we have seen the newly confirmed cases occurred every day. Until today, the total confirmed cases on the Diamond Princess is 542, with infection rate 14.6%. So the confirmed cases actually cover the citizens from different countries. So that's including the citizens from Japan and also people from United States, Italy, Hong Kong, SAR. So that is also the reason that the Princess Diamond Princess drew the international community's attention. And right now, United States already sent two charter fly to pick up. It's around three hundred nationals back home and the two charter flight depart dispatched by Hong Kong SAR government will also take off earlier tomorrow and the charter flight sent by Canada will arrive on the morning of Friday and also the Australia dispatches charter flight will also take off today or tomorrow. So we talk about during the uh, past two weeks, the passengers on the cruise, they saying they were in the prison. So they caused a lot of the anxieties or panic. But we talk about the, think about the environment on the cruise. We talk about 
the place for entertainment or the a cafe, the restaurants that or all the public gathering areas. And we also talk about there are two ventilation sy systems. So one is internal ventilation system, another one is external ventilation system. Right now, there's no source saying that whether the crews started to use the external ventilation or not. So that may be an also the reason to trigger the wide range of infection. So we talk about the a whole cruise, and it's a closed off environment. So the air that uh, people breathe that may already contaminated by the virus. And the company of the Diamond Prince Society will refund all the fares to the passengers. So the black one, that's the taxi. So we still can see a lot of the air passengers choose to take taxis, go home. And we can see near the yellow buses, we can see the medics wearing the protective suits, goggles and masks, but still we can see more taxis in black or white. So we talk about the a cruise uh, with 2,666 passengers on board. And the total number is 3,711, including the number of crews. So the guests plus cruise staff, that's total 3,711. And as of February 18th, the total confirmed case is reached 542. So the cruise started its voyage on the January 20th and back to Yokohama on February 1st and started the quarantine whole process on February 4th. Um, during the voyage, I actually stopped at different countries and cities. We talk about Yokohama. We also talk about it stopped at Taiwan as well, Taiwan region, Vietnam.
So on the February 3rd, I found the first onboard confirmed patient. So the princess decided to cancel the whole voyage. And also the Ministry of Health of Japan started the inspections and the health check on board. So we still can see the medics wearing the protective suits. So we talk about 500 patient DA passengers are allowed to leave the cruise. And started from this morning, they started to getting get off the cruise. And of course they should have first their the a nucleic acid test it's negative. And they have no any clinical manifestations. Then they allowed to leave. And we still can see, according to our observation, in the around hour and a half the live streaming, you can see majority of the patients actually choose to take taxis or their personal vehicles to go back home. But still, the local government, the Yokohama government, provide the a yellow buses as the shuttle shuttle bus to transport the passen passengers from the port to the transportation hub in the city, so the passengers can take JR trains or other public transportation to go back home. But we still talk about the infection rate. It's really high, as high as a fourteen point six percent. And that confirmed cases actually covered many nationals from different countries. So we talk about the confirmed cases. The majority of the confirmed cases receive treatment in Japan. For example, we have around 40 US citizens confirmed the cases on the cruise right now received the treatment in Japan and also around the a Eight citizens from France, they also received treatment in Japan. And we also talk about the, the on the charter flight back to the United States, they also have the uh, confirmed cases on board. Uh, the US government also allowed these group of patients on board back to the United States because they're not really showing any symptoms.
So look at this is the a giant size. This is believed to be the prin diamond princess. And also, according to the Ministry of Health, it issued a paper to all the prize saying, do not show faces of the people disembarked from the ship. Do not show anything that would identify the bus company. And also, the journalists are not allowed to follow the passengers of the cruise.
to to, to all the viewers right now you're watching at the a live picture bring to you by CGT New Media at Yokohama Port. The China's Hong Kong Special Administration Region on Monday dispatched a special team, a team across functions, including the Hong Kong SER Immigration Department, the hospital authorities, and they sent to Japan to arrange two chartered flights for the evacuation of over 300 Hong Kong residents on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship. And according to the Japanese authorities, all passengers remained on the ship still have to be tested, and those who are tested positive for the virus will not be allowed to leave. So the tests will be completed today. So that's tested will be completed tomorrow, actually, on Thursday. And the Hong Kong government will do their best to send the Hong Kong passengers home by chartered flights on Thursday. So Tokyo Haneda Airport will be the location where the two Hong Kong chartered flights take off. Apart from the more than 300 Hong Kong passengers will be on board the plane. And we also have five other Macau passengers will also be evacuated by the same flights. So talking about the U.S. evacuation, more than 300 American cruise passengers, including 14 who tested positive, are being quarantined on two separate U.S. military bases after leaving Japan. So this is the information according to AP. Uh, one plane carried passengers to the Travis Air Force Base in Northern California, while another touched down at the Air, Base, Air Force Base in Texas. So the according to the U.S. officials, the cruise passengers who arrived at Travis will stay at a different location from the 200 other Americans already quarantined on the base. And the U.S. State Department said that the 14 passengers who tested positive for the COVID-19 were exposed to other passengers for about 40 minutes before being isolated. So the U.S. organized the evacuation because people on the Diamond Princess were at high risk of exposure to the new coronavirus. The evacuation cut short 14-day quarantine on the cruise ship that began February 3rd. So the cruise ship evacuees will be quarantined for another 14 days after arrived in their origin. And so total, they actually quarantined for nearly four weeks. So the quarantine on the Diamond Princess ends today, Wednesday local time, and the remaining crew members will dis disembark in Yokohama. And as of Tuesday, 542 cases of the virus were identified among the 3,711 passengers. And this makes the Diamond Princess the highest concentration of new infections outside China. And also we have a group of investigators are trying to find out why the virus happened and what's the root of transmission and why the number increased so fast on the cruise. So based on our, our knowledge, uh, 2,686 passengers or guests on the cruise 
and around 145 cruise staff on the board. So bring the total number is 3,711, among which the confirmed case is 542, with infection rate as high as 14. That's 14.6%. So starting from today, the February 19th, the passengers on the various heat cruise ship started to disembarking from the cruise. And we talk about the uh, only passengers who have tested negative for the virus and did not show any symptoms during the quarantine period will be allowed to leave the ship. Those who have tested negative but were in cabins with infected people will have to remain on board for additional quarantine. The disembarking process will continue over several days, according to the Japanese media, setting the health officials is expected to finish the entire process by Friday. So today, about 500 people are expected to disembark the vessel and on Tuesday yesterday the Japanese official said there were 88 new cases of infection on board the ship bringing the total to 542 confirmed cases and several countries and territories have already separated evacuated their citizens from the ship or plan to do so in the coming days The passengers have stayed in the cruise for at least two weeks for quarantine, and they describe the difficult quarantine situation on the vessel. And because of these extraordinary circumstances on board Diamond Princess, the company of the Diamond Princess cruise is refunding the full cruise fares for all guests, including their air travel, hotel, ground transportation, prepaid fees, and other items. In addition, the guests are not being charged for any onboard incidental charges during the additional times on board. So the Princess Cruise will also provide guests 
with a future cruise credit equal to the cruise fare paid to the voyage. So talk about the voyage、uh, originally started or planned. It started from Yokohama on the January twenties, and start the journey from the Yokohama and will end the journey at the same place, Yokohama, on the February fourth. But on the February the first, it found a one of its passengers. On board with five days from Hong Kong, identified as a COVID nineteen patient, and start from the February third, the Ministry of Health of Japan started to conduct a large round of inspections and health check on board, and also starting from February fourth, the all the passengers on board started a fourteen day quarantine. And today is the last day of quarantine, and the passengers allowed to start leaving the cruise. And today we will see around five hundred people. A majority are Japanese or the senior people leave the cruise. And of course, they should have their test negative for the virus. And also, no, have no any symptoms shown during the quarantine period. And according to our observation, although the government provided a public transportation, but we still can see a lot of pas passengers choose to take taxis or their private vehicles. So there are around two thousand six hundred and sixty-six passengers on board, or guests on board, and around one thousand forty-five crew staffs, bring the total number to seven hundred three thousand seven hundred eleven confirmed cases, or five hundred forty-two. This is the number confirmed as of yesterday. So talking about the people allowed to leave the ship, they will start their normal life in Japan, and they also allowed to take public transportation. For the confirmed cases, they have already been treated at the hospitals in Japan.
to all the viewers you've just tuned in with CGTN New Media. Right now you're watching the live picture coming to you from Yokohama Port. And on your right hand side, this is Prince Cruise or the Diamond Prince Cruise. On board, it's around 7,311 passengers and crew. So around 2,666 guests and around 1,045 the crew staff. So right now, as of yesterday, the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus has seen 542 passengers and the crew infected on the Diamond Princess, which also makes the cruise as the biggest cluster outside mainland China. Starting from today, the passengers who have tested negative for the virus and did not show any symptoms during the quarantine period will be allowed to leave the ship. And those who have tested negative but were in cabins with infected people will have to remain on board for additional quarantine. The disembarking process will lasted for around three days starting from today and expected to finish the whole process on Friday, according to the Japanese media setting the officials of Ministry of Health. About 500 people are expected to disembark the vessel today. And several countries and regions have already separated, evacuated. Their citizens from the ship or plan to do so in the coming days. So talking about because the a virus spreading in Japan, a public gathering to celebrate the birthday of a new emperor Naruhito later this week have been cancelled due to the concern over the spread of the virus. And also in Japan, the organizers of the Tokyo Marathon due to take place on the 1st of March, have canceled the amateur part of the race, affecting some 38,000 runners after cases of the virus were confirmed in the city. So only elite runners will be allowed to take part of this year's Tokyo Marathon. And talk about the Diamond Princess, the cruise ship was put in quarantine in the Japan's port of Yokohama after a man were disembarked in Hong Kong was found to have the virus. And also a Russian woman who was on board and tested positive is considered to be the first Russian national to contract the virus, according to the Reuters. So she will be taken to the hospital for treatment.
to all the viewers of CGTN New Media. Right now, you're watching the live streaming brought to you by uh, CGTN New Media from Yokohama Port. And you can see on the right hand side of the picture that's the A Princess Diamond Princess Cruise. And starting from today, the passengers will start to disembark from uh, the cruise. And we talk about for the passengers on board, that's around in total number 3,711 with 2,666 passengers or guests and also around 1,045 crew staffs. And they should go through a series of testings and checks to make sure they meet the standards and they are allowed to leave. So we talk about an outbreak of the COVID-19 virus has seen 400, 542 passengers and a crew infected on the Diamond Princess, which also make the cruise as the biggest cluster outside mainland China. And talk about the passengers allowed to leave the cruise that so should be the one who have tested negative for the virus and did not show any symptoms during the quarantine period. So as long as they meet these two standards, they're allowed to leave the cruise. But we talk about for those who have tested negative but were in the cabins with infected people will have to remain on board for additional quarantine. The whole disembarking process continued for the following day, so started from today and hope to end the whole process on Friday, according to the health officials in Japan. So today we will expect to have around 500 people. The majority are Japanese and also the a senior age people are expected to disembark the vessel. And on Monday, we have seen the largest number increase as confirmed cases on board, which is 99 new cases of infection. And yesterday, Tuesday, the Japanese officials said that there were 88 new cases of infection on board the ship, bringing the total to right now 542 confirmed cases. Several countries and territories have already separated, evacuated their citizens from the sh ship or plan to do so in the coming days. We have known the United States has already dispatched two charter flights, brought its around 400 nationals back to the United States. And right now they are under the quarantine in two different air base and with 14 people identified as the a confirmed cases on board. Those 14 has right now received a treatment in the United States. And Hong Kong, I see our government also sent a special t working force to Japan and will also help to organize two charter flights, expect to leave Japan, Haneda Airport around tomorrow morning. So on board will be the Hong Kong passengers as well as another five citizens from Macau SAR. And also Italy will send its flight to take stranded passengers and the a Italian citizens back to Italia. And that's also the same to um, South ROK. Republic of Korea and also the Philippines also started the process to take the stranded Philippines passengers back home.
So talking about the a cruise, the cruise ship was put in quarantine in Japan's port of Yokohama after a man who disembarked in Hong Kong was found to have the virus. So this Monday, the Japanese official said there were 99 new cases of infections on board the ship, bringing the total to 454 confirmed cases. And Tuesday, which is yesterday, the official said there were another 88 new cases, so bringing the total number of 542 confirmed cases. So it is the largest cluster of cases outside China. A Russian woman who was on board and tested positive is thought to be the first Russian national to contract the virus. This is the information according to Reuters. And these Russian women will be taken to a hospital for treatment. To assist with relief efforts, the Japan Japanese government has given away 2,000 iPhones to passengers on the ship one for each cabin. So the smartphones were distributed so people could use an app which is created by Japan's health ministry, which links users with doctors, pharmacists, and mental health counselors. Phones registered outside of Japan are unable to access the app. So other evacuation flights has been arranged to repatriate residents of Israel, Canada as well. The a Canadian charter flight is expected to arrive in Japan on Friday morning. And Australia also announced that it would evacuate 200 of its citizens. And the United Kingdom said it was considering organizing an evacuation flight. So for today, we will see around 500 passengers of the cruise. The majority are the elderly people. So according to our knowledge, around 1,000 passengers on the cruise were aged above 70 years old. So they had a difficulty that running out of their medicines. So they normally take the medicines daily to cure their underlying or chronic diseases. And started from the February 14, the Japanese government and the Ministry of Health already helped to arrange a group of elderly people off the cruise and send them to the hospitals nearby or to the cities of Saitama or the Hikari cities. So they can stay in the hospitals or in accommodations so they can continue to get their medicine. So we start to see the passengers in different batches start to either get on the yellow buses provided by the Yokohama government or take a taxi or their private cars. So we believe the passengers need to go through a set of the tests So that 500 patients are allowed to take a public transportation. And when they are allowed to leave the cruise, which means they can start to live their normal life, so there is no additional quarantine requirement on them when they're back home. So that's the cases we talk about, that if they stay in Japan, they do not need to 
do additional quarantine for another 14 days. By the way, talk about if the passengers from other countries, they choose to take charter flights back to their home country, then it's required for them to stay an additional 14 days. So right now, we, according to our knowledge, uh, the Philippines, Greek, Canada, Italy, United States, Israel are okay. All had their plan to evacuate the passengers on board. We talk about actually, if we look into details of the eight passengers on board, on the cruise, the biggest population still the Japanese nationals. And then next, the passengers from the United States, it's more than 400. And then it's see a, around the 311 passengers from mainland China. We talk about the eight cases, the confirmed cases of the COVID-19. Uh, the half of the confirmed cases outside China actually is from the cruise. And we talk about the uh, U.S. passengers, the uh, U.S. the two charter flights, which brought all the the passengers back home and put them into two, the Air Force Base. And they, the passengers also required to stay for another 14 days as quarantine. And starting from today, we will see more passengers of the cruise. And in the coming days, we will have all the passengers and the cruise staffs leave the cruise. I wish them all the safe and stay healthy. And thank you for tuning in with CGT and New Media. We will bring you more about the COVID-19.